there's a uh, common statement or common idea that goes around uh, lately that um, people who have their religious beliefs criticized and take offense are actually choosing to be offended. Uh, this goes back to uh, the cartoons, to uh, Salman Rushdie, I suppose, or um, lately to the South Park or Drama Hummet Day uh, caricatures. Although I suppose South Park wasn't really a caricature. Um, Drama Hummet Day wasn't necessarily a caricature, but there was caricature aplenty out there. The um, implication is, of course, that the person who is taking offense has the option of not being offended, but chooses, makes a positive choice to be offended. They have the option of not being offended. They have the option of just shrugging the whole thing off and just sort of saying, well, somebody's saying something that I disagree with, so whatever. Well, okay, I sympathize with that point of view, but I think that one, can, one, one ought to be very careful with where that is likely to go. Um, we all have our sacred, quote-unquote, uh, ideas. We all have ideas that, um, if they are criticized or questioned or vilified, uh, say are, are, are sacred cows, are important, central ideas. Um, in the West, it's generally freedom of speech, uh, human rights, uh, that kind of thing. If these are questioned or if these are trampled upon, we'll get angry just as offended as a religious person will be if they see their religion vilified. For example, what is most people's reaction to um, returning servicemen, returning to England, uh, to Britain after serving in Iraq or Afghanistan? Uh, and they're met by people waving placards, go to hell, baby killers, uh, freedom, go to hell, uh, this kind of thing. Or what is most people's reaction to that uh, odd bunch of people at godhatesfags.com, uh, I suppose? Well, I think I know what most people's reaction to that kind of thing is. It's anger. People are offended by this sort of thing. In the same way as almost everybody is offended by racism, anti-Semitism, homophobia. Um, even if it's just sort of benign. In other words, no one is actually calling on anyone to be harmed. They're just saying that this group or that group uh, is inherently... Um, uh, bad, anyone who actually dislikes black people or dislikes gays or dislikes um, uh, Western secularism or whatever is automatically bad and people get their backs up on this kind of thing. So it's inconsistent. I don't think that one can say that the other guy chooses to be offended, whereas when I'm offended, it's legitimate. How about rather than get into that pointless semantical a semantic conversation over what is offensive and what is not how about we just agree how about we just decide as individuals to try to avoid giving offense I've said before um, that this is the only way that one is actually going to get uh, the number of competing ideas in the world or clashing ideas in the world uh, to have any chance of uh, mutual reconciliation or just getting along with each other and on top of that I think the desire and the effort not to give offense and yes let's be fair not to take offense is the essence of civilization itself thank you